A crush of TV cameras greeted the elusive Carles Puigdemont as he came out of hiding. Are you a coward, Mr. Puigdemont? 24 hours earlier, the deposed Catalan leader had fled to the EU capital with a few of his fellow ex-ministers after Spain's Attorney General filed rebellion and sedition charges following the Catalan government's declaration of independence from Spain. There had been anticipation that Puigdemont had come to claim political asylum in Belgium especially as the Belgian migration minister had days earlier indicated that he would welcome such a claim. I am not here in order to demand asylum politi political asylum. This is not a Belgian question. I'm here in Brussels as a capital of Europe. I'm here in order to act with freedom and safety. Some observers say Puigdemont is trying to force the EU's hand to get it to broker legal guarantees from Spain. To him, only the EU can provide protection from what he called the vengeful tactics of the Spanish authorities. We are not trying to escape justice. We will not neglect our responsibility in the face of justice, but we will face serious political injustice at the hands of the Spanish government. But outside, some fellow Catalonians living in Brussels weren't so convinced. I think he's desperate. The European members won't, will never support this because he goes against constitution, against the rule of law and against democracy in Spain. There is a majority of Catalans who don't want an independence. We say not in my name. EU policy is to not interfere in the internal affairs of one of its member states. And even on Tuesday, it seems Belgium, too, is distancing itself from the crisis. The Belgian Prime Minister Charles Michel says Puigdemont was not invited to Belgium, but he has the same rights as any EU citizen, no more and no less. The deposed Catalan President Puigdemont has laid down the gauntlet to the EU, just a few doors from their seat of power. But the question is, will they react? Myriam Zadis, Brussels.